Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Dinks with Kinks. Before we get started, I just really want to tell you guys, follow us on social media. We post all kinds of content and we want to get feedback from you guys. We want to hear from you at Dinks with Kinks on Twitter, Instagram, and even Facebook. So guys, come talk to us. Come tell us what you're thinking of these episodes. I am one of your hosts, John Dondero, and with me tonight, as always, the impeccably dry Mr. Shep. Good evening, I think. And the and, and potentially the very <laughs> uncomfortably moist Miss Rebecca. I like I'm that. Never That's good. Moist. Going going <laughs> going in tonight's Hello. episode. I'm glad you you think that way because. <laughs> Guys, we're doing uh, uh, water yeah. sports, and yeah, and before you really Are start we? getting into it, I'm not talking about uh, we're going to play water polo. We're not playing water polo here. There is zero um, jet skis, even though jet skis is the perfect machine, both form and function. It's the greatest thing ever known. None of that. None of that. No. You caught None it. of that here. Guys. None of that. Yes, I did. I I None of All that. Right. All right, fine. Focus. Guys. Focus. Tonight's Focus. episode, we're going to need Focus. a shower. We're going to need a shower after tonight's episode. Everyone here is going to need a shower. And not just any regular shower, but a fancy shower. I'm talking like, uh, what's something really fancy? Maybe a gold, a gold, golden shower. That's what we're going to need tonight. After tonight's episode, I I hate you on so many levels right now. What That's it. we're talking about? Why? pee, guys? Why the normal a uh, number one, if you will? I mean, we're not number one, not yet, but we want to be number one tonight. I love the stunned silence. I have just gone down a great trail of this <laughs> awesome. And I left hanging by our co-host. You might say you're being a wet there blanket. It is. That's what I needed. I needed that. I need that feed. Oh yes, you feed me. I'm a, I'm a hungry chicken, and I need it. You're welcome. So guys, yeah, we're we're talking about um, urophilia. Mm. That is the proper terminology for what we're talking about tonight. It is the fetish with urination, urine, or everlet the function thereof the bodily function known as P and you know I know a lot of times in a lot of our episodes uh, so if you're if you're just listening to only this one uh, we do poke a lot of fun and fetishes but I want everyone to know that we are not disrespecting this fetish at all but we will make P jokes from here to there and everywhere but I absolutely understand this fetish and we're gonna try to take it as seriously as we can uh, Mr. Shep, well, if you want to be you serious, to... then you want to be the function of urination, not the function of pee. Oh, you're in trouble. Uh, oh, you're in trouble for that one. Shep, have you ever experienced this fetish before? Do you have any knowledge of it, or only in my dreams? Oh, talk about when I was dream. really young. <laughs> So in in his early weird? early in his early early thirties, cool 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 cool. Um, what about you, Miss Rebecca? I um I do have some experience with this one. <laughs> mm. I do. I was actually it was early on in my my early twenties. Uh, my partner at the time. Um, I okay. Looking back on it, I have to say it was really brave of him to 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 approach me with this subject. I didn't realize then how much it took for him to have this discussion with me. Um, but yeah, he was really into. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> So at least one of us has a bit of a history. 
history. I love it. <laughs> I do have a history. I love it. Oh, the puns are going to be great in this episode, and I know it. Okay, so let's get let's get into some like technical terms and what this is really all about. Uh, Europhilia, or your I can't even pronounce that word. Uh, your but let's say Europhilia is a t- essentially a paraphilia, an attraction to an object. Uh, of course, the object being urine. Uh, and during that activity, it could be like either urinated upon, urinated just being watched, uh, wetting in a clothing item like I'm being I'm I'm peeing into my pants, or even drinking the urine. This 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 fetish is a very in depth, complex fetish. Uh, so guys, drink up. Because so just we're about a to generalized urgent for the urine. Yeah, you guys, we need to get a very full bladder tonight of just what it's a full bladder of the stuff we're going to con- talk about tonight. Isn't it more of an oh, empty yeah. bladder? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll have an empty bladder by the end of it because we're going to discuss everything. Uh, yeah. uh, you won't be able to hold it. Mm. And just like I'm not able to hold it right now is I'm going to tell you the common variations of your urophilia. Uh, let's let's get the first one. Okay. It's probably the most right well known, uh, just for its pop culture references, uh, celebrity scandals. But let's go ahead and get into uh, what's called as a golden shower. Yes, just let sh- it flow. Just let it flow. That is like a shower or stream of urine directed at a person. That's I'm going to pee on you, or you're going to pee on me. Either way, it's going to be a great shower. Um, yeah. I mean, you guys, everyone's heard of a golden shower. <laughs> it's not something the rich people do. I, I, yeah, I think that's like very pop culture-y like, at this point. So with kind of the mean, opposite of the old um, quote, it's better to be pissed off than pissed on, but reverse. But tonight, tonight we rather be pissed on. <laughs> Uh, I think, and I have to make this proper. Well, uh, probably one of the most uh, <laughs> least modern instances where someone's got like publicity. This, and this is before his pedophilia charges. But R. Kelly was known for peeing on everybody. He loved to pee on the people, allegedly. It was a risk taker as a piss taker. Allegedly, but. Um, <laughs> This is not uncommon, guys. Uh, this fetish, I have like drawings from back, well back in the 40s and 50s. This is not a new fetish that came around because we got bored on the internet. This has been around for quite <laughs> some time. On, depending on the platter size, it can be long and drawn out. It can mm-hmm. be. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> right now, and then next we have uh, like like the clothes wedding. Like I'm I'm gonna pee my pants. Uh, this is actually a very popular one, uh, especially in the, like the sadomasochism, like S and M style variety of. I can see that. Yeah, though. whole it's. Uh, you guys remember when we talked about edging? Mm-hmm. Now imagine edging only it's not uh, it's not semen or or it's not cum. We're after. We're gonna edge you until you can't hold your bladder anymore, either through tickling. Time, or just other various forms of torturing. We're gonna make you pee your pants. Actually, there's a there's a scene in the movie. Um, there's a movie called um, The Secretary. It it's about you know a, a girl discovering her being a sub, and the the guy she works for is a dom, and she he he commands her to just, like sit at her desk and not move, and she pees herself like she like all the way through like she does not move so there is a scene in there oh yeah this is this is actually a very common like even though it's not the most well known this is actually probably the more prominent in the fetish community is like at least as far as my research goes and a close sister of the pister Um, would be the uh, squirter Uh, squirting is different. Squirting is different. <laughs> I uh, said close, by a lot. close sister of the pister. I didn't say yeah. same. That is true. Yeah. Does that count as water sports? Is that different? Is squirting different? Oh. It depends on who you talk to. I want to say yes. It's the same. I feel like squirting's different. Mm-hmm. I want to say it's the same. 
But that is entirely opinionated. There might be science behind I it. I feel it's different. It might be. You always have your elitist. Because, I mean, it doesn't say urination sports. It says water sports. So, um, uh, that so is there is true. a broad umbrella there. So uh, the next one is probably one I am the most guilty of doing in a non-sexual manner is exposition. Um, all right, guys, ready? One, two, three. Exposition. Ex- no, say it all. The, say it all. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Exhibitionism. 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 Okay. Remember. Exhibitionism. Right, One, two, three. Ex- writing your name in the snow. Exhibitionism. I said oh. it right. <laughs> we're, we're right. Do you know there's a thing called the shoey? Yes. I want yes, one. Yes, we did. I uh, want my one. My wife has one. I want. I want. She one. has one. Is it? Is it awesome? She, she says is it's it the greatest as amazing thing. as I think she it is. She says it's the greatest thing she's ever owned. Oh my god! I have to buy yeah, one. Uh, and this is the third time this week that I've actually talked about it. In that it's sort of odd. Uh, <laughs> Chef, if you're not familiar, the shoey. Essentially, gives women. Please go on. He heard of it. The shiwi is a uh, device that allows women to pee in a directional fashion that is not straight down. And that would be the co- cousin of the squeegee, the shiwi. Close. <laughs> I said cousin. But I am I am very um, very guilty of this because I'll pee where I have to pee at. If I'm in the woods, I'll pee on a tree. I'll mark my territory. Uh, but this is actually very popular, you know, also a very uh, common uh, variation of the urination fetish. Uh, watching somebody pee in public. Now, the human urinal is our next topic. And it's very much like degradation, humiliation, punishment. Uh, typically for uh, a dom and sub relationship where uh, almost transform- um, transformative as a fetish. Uh, people, you know, you've ever heard people being said they're a human ashtray? Yes, mm-hmm. but um, where unless they're Bear want- Grylls, then it's life-sustaining. Well, I would like to say Bear Grylls is probably the biggest supporter of this because he's got to drink his own pee. And this is what the human urinal is. I want to drink your own pee, and I'm going to get off being your urinal. I want to be the the way you dispose of your urine. Mm. Uh, this is like the... I, I, I want to join the urination. Probably, this is probably one of the most <laughs> ultimate forms. Nice, Shep. You're on a roll. <laughs> it's a nation. A urination. Urination. <laughs> I'm a nation, you're a nation. I want to say this is probably one of the most ultimate forms of submission as being as something as like, I want to be something so basic that you dispose your waste in me. Either by orally, genitally, or anally. I cannot think of a more basic form like a more where do you shove intense. the urinal cake is what i wonder uh, dude you're in cake we'll put a little ice cream on that a la mode urinal cake a la mode it's great no it's I one of the ones with ice <laughs> you just kind of just cover it in ice. Ice. <laughs> um no i honestly cannot think of a more primal way to submit to somebody than being that um, mm-hmm. And of course, there are many, many, many other different versions. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this, but uh, omorashi, which is uh, just holding your pee until it's the edging thing that we talked about earlier. The the form of torture of like you have to hold your pee until I tell you otherwise. I'm gonna forbid you to. It's like a form of chastity almost. I'm going to forbid mm-hmm. you to come, but instead, I'm going to forbid you to pee until you can physically take it no more. And this probably goes a little less to where it's endangering one's health. Yes, yes. So I do I not re- recommend that. Serious that, can cause some, that can cause some like serious bladder infections, yeah. kidney infections. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I'm sure there is a safe way to do it. 
uh, I highly recommend doing your own research uh, a little deeper than a podcast called Dings with Kinks. <laughs> yes. More peens with where, streams? I mean, we're number one <laughs> in making pee jokes. I thought we were number one in making dick jokes. Oh, I forgot the audio podcast can't see the eye, raised eyebrows I just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was the uh, struggle tacos. But, yeah. Uh, Brought yeah. to you by Murder Pillow. Never. <laughs> We've had a lot of callbacks in this episode. The uh, X123 exhibitionism. exhibitionism and the Murder Pillow and the Struggle Taco. <laughs> and tickling. We talked about tickling. I mean, okay. I would imagine that is a horrid way, like an ending. And we, I think we talked about this in the tickling episode. Yeah, we did. Of the end mm-hmm. result of what could happen through tickle torture. Mm. So, yeah. I want to say that this is one of those fetishes where you know we have a lot of fetishes where they are both uh, like either they're an add-on fetish or a standalone fetish and I think this is one of those things where it's both Yes, it is very much yeah. a very standalone fetish but could also be incorporated into other fetishes Mm, yes, just like the tickle torture can be used for safe asphyxiation play as mm-hmm. as well as the the oh my god stop you're gonna make me pee. I don't know how many times I've said that at work. <laughs> um so Miss uh, Rebecca, I kinda wanna get a little more in depth to uh your experiences in this. Um, he wants to dive into your stream. He's just diving. I really do want to dive into this stream of thought. Well, it is not my mm-hmm. thing. Um, I definitely don't. It it doesn't bother me. Like I don't care if you pee in front of me. Um, but when my ex brought it up to me, I don't even know how it came up in conversation. I think we were mm-hmm. discussing, um. And we were just, like, like I said, at that point, we're sort of exploring our our kinks and exploring different things. You know, early twenties, why not? Um, and it came up one time, and I, I think it was just a random question out of nowhere. He's like, "Would would you pee in front of me?" And I went, "What?" Like, you probably I, heard you sprinkle when you tinkled. That's what kind of got him. I and, and I was like, "Are you into that? Like, do you?" And and I wasn't. And it wasn't one of those shameful. It was just like I'm trying to understand how far we are going down this. This because it's there's peeing in front of you, and like you said, there's peeing on you, mm-hmm. and then there's wanting to pee be peed on. Like there's there's a level. So I was wanting to see yeah. where he was with that. Um, that's just the type of person I am. Where, where, how far are we going into this? Yeah, and, you gotta um, know. Do you need to get a raincoat? Do you need a scotch card? The <laughs> furniture? I mean, you know. But I, I also, like how you've gone into this with an open mind. Like you, you were, you were straight up. Like you're like, ooh, gross. You, you didn't have that response. You were like a open no, mind, let's talk just about no this. open mouth. That's all. Yeah. Well, it, it was one of. I think it was because it came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting. I think that was more where my surprise was. And. And he explained that when he was younger, he saw a girl, like a like little kid, like pee. And he it just sort of piqued his interest ever since. It's something he got, he was into. And um, I was like, okay. Um, and he never wanted me to pee on him. Um, but he mm-hmm. liked me standing because it was one of those showers with the tub. And, you know, just... I think I think there is a level of taboo attached to that that I, I really see I can appreciate that because I'm a big fan of things you're not supposed to do and not just pee in the shower because I mean there are two types of people in the world people who pee in the shower and people who lie about being in the shower um, <laughs> but it, it is just like uh, in, a, in its essence, a very taboo thing. I don't, I don't know where this became like a thing where going to the bathroom in front of another individual became very, like, it's a very private. It, Victorian era. 
V yeah, it's very Victorian. The invention of the indoor bathroom. <laughs> I would know way too much about bathrooms. Yes, because I mean, Roman days, I mean, the guy walked yeah. around with the bucket and everybody peed in it. <laughs> up until the indoor plumbing, up until indoor plumbing, going to the bathroom was not a thing. People and like even women, they had hoop skirts. They didn't wear underwear. You just literally squatted in a corner and even royalty did it it was a thing and it wasn't until indoor plumbing and indoor bathrooms became a thing that's when it became a taboo subject that's when it became and private everybody pees ladies and gentlemen everybody <laughs> pees except birds birds don't pee and that's Google when it's it. like back i mean it, when did showing off your stomach not become like it used to be you saw ankle and that was scandalous like that was yeah. hot stuff see a girl woman's ankle like so but. ankles and elbows baby yeah like i said but, with, with any f oh go ahead sorry no i mean but when I, I i i didn't do it i did it do it more than once or twice um it was just an after it was just one of the things that he was into and i did for him but i i i, I didn't I didn't get into it, so I was like, okay, well, I, that let this be a special occasion thing. I'm not really into doing that all the time. So, and you know, that's okay. It's okay to not be into stuff. I mean, at least you know, kudos on you for not shaming him on doing it, for having that interest. Because, like I said, there's there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and I, I, I'm always fascinated by people, like especially if I'm not into something. I try to find that common ground. So I might be wrong in my assumptions, you know, and, you know, again, contact us on social media, which is why we're doing this episode because people reached out to us mm -hmm. and asked us to cover uh, water sports. Um, so when you listen to this episode, please tell us how wrong we are or tell us how right we got or give us more detail. But I, I mean, a part of me just wants to go, okay, this is how I found my common ground. I enjoy taboo stuff, like stuff you you know that's considered quote unquote naughty, and to me this strikes me as something that's very born and bred. In the it's not supposed to ex you know do. With a partner, so the excitement of. No, nah, this is, this is wrong. This is, dirty. And that's kind of like in my mind. Now, this I is honestly, where I, I don't think that. I think this, like, this is that you're not supposed to find it sexual. I think it's not that you're not supposed to do it because everybody does it. Like we said that. I think it's you're not supposed to find it sexual. You're not supposed to get turned on by it. <sighs> you're not supposed to. That's where the taboo is. You're supposed. To, it's eliminating waste. You're, it's oh. eliminating waste. It is a bodily function. It is not supposed to be sexy. It's not supposed to be something that gets you so, turned on. That makes mm -hmm. it taboo. Ah, okay. So you know what? I get that. The, the taboo is in fact of the fact that it's not supposed to be exactly. sexy, but it is sexy. I think I think so. that that was I, that was my experience I know, with I, it. Is that it was something you weren't supposed to find hot. And you do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what? I listen. Listen, as somebody who is turned on by uh, literally sinking in quicksand, which is probably one of the few very unsexy things in the world, I fully get behind that. I support it. I like it. I understand it. That being said, it is not a fetish for me. Uh, my pee goes in the toilet. I mean, I don't care if you watch. It's not going to do me one way or another. Sometimes but in the pool, be... sometimes on the trees. Everybody pees in the pool. I feel like if I were to get aroused in it, I would get a face shot once or twice. <laughs> and I will say peeing with an erection is, is painful. Oh, Shep says no. <laughs> Shep, you can't shake your head no on an audio podcast. You have to actually say the words. No, it's not. I say nay nay. Uh, you say nay nay. I don't know. I do not enjoy peeing with an erection. It is not pleasant for me. But I maybe that's just me. <laughs> it's all about the flexibility, baby. Uh, 
you got to angle it weird. You're like, okay, uh, okay, I've got to lean forward a lot. We got to angle the dangle, baby. Mm-hmm. Angle the dangle. Okay, you know, listen, to each their own. And I think, especially with this fetish, this is this is when I'm gonna go on a limb. And you know, usually we do the would you parts. We already know one did, and it's not their cup of tea, and that'd be <laughs> Shep. Uh, we know. Um, one person who is super into it but doesn't want to admit it on the podcast. Oh, wait, what? Rebecca. <laughs> um, and then we got the the one person who is indifferent either way. That'd be me. Did I yeah, get that right? No. <laughs> All right, then let's do let's do the would you will. Uh Miss Rebecca, why don't you start? Well, I have done it. Uh, I am not into it. It is not my thing. It is not what I enjoy or find sexy, but as we have proven, I, you know, if it is your thing and it you something you want to do, it doesn't hurt me. So it doesn't, it's like, if you want me to do it, I'll do it. But I don't want it. I don't want it to be done to me. Yeah. Unless maybe they eat a lot of hot sauce, then it could be like, oh, it burns, <laughs> it burns. <laughs> Chef, will you pee on me? That's what I'm, that's what we really want to know. Chef, will you give me the pee pee? Not even if you're stung by a jellyfish. That's not cool, bro. That's not cool. No, I mean, what about this? Would would this be a fetish you'd participate in? No, I mean, I respect it and all, but the closest I get to it is when I see a stray cat piss on something outside my yard. I'm like, oh no, that's my territory. <laughs> And the P wars begin. You'll, re- you'll, you'll reclaim just do that it territory, to claim territory. In a very sexual way, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. That and the surrounding uh, five to ten feet around. your name in the snow. <laughs> John, would you participate? Place. Would you, if somebody asked you to do it? It'd be one of those things I've never tried in a sexual manner. I definitely do not want to be urinated mm-hmm. upon. But uh, I have not. This is one of those fetishes where I've not come across a partner who was into it to try to experience. So I mean, I always say I'll try anything once. I know for a fact I do not want to be urinated on. Um, but I mean, I would give it a try. This this is one of those things. Like you said, it doesn't hurt me. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it a go. Uh, it's not going to do anything for me. It's not. I mean, I understand the very core of it, and so I get what you're getting out of it. But it's just not something I'm going to get out I of. I think it the well. one thing now that I'm older, and now that I am more embracing more of who I am as, as a sexual being, I understand like the sub part of it. I think the part that I would enjoy now, differing from when I was younger, is that as a sub, like they, I'm. I'm doing something that pleases them. And I think that's ideally what I would get out of it. You know, I mean. Yeah. I mean, I hear it, depending on the content, it can be a nice skin toner as well. <laughs> Actually, P has a lot of uses. And like, <laughs> mm-hmm. As Bear Grylls taught me, if I'm ever lost in the woods, time to drink his pee. Uh. <laughs> what? Huh? Anywho, what are we talking about? Um, What are we talking about, John? You know, in the back of his head, he's singing, pour that urine on me. (laughs) Me. So I think it's it's about time for we really discuss what we're going to be talking about next week. Uh, This has been a fun time, uh, but we've got to move on to Uh our second topic. Uh, So let's spin that wheel. Let's Let's see what we got. Benny spin. And it's spinning. Living in a urination. Oh, guys, listen, I don't want to say I'm playing my part in this podcast, Uh but this is who I really am. So I don't have to play any parts with you guys. I don't have to. uh, You play with your parts enough. I don't have to have any certain role in this podcast for me to be happy. I don't I don't have to Mm -hmm. uh, go through the motions. It's really who I am. Mm -hmm. Uh, So Mm. next week we're going to talk about role playing. And not your, not no, and not your average role playing. Like I'm gonna be a schoolgirl. I'm gonna be a level seven paladin. We are talking about extreme role playing, like to, to the, the max. max. Like what level? Pretending to be. Are you talking about? 
I'm talking going to a street corner, pretending to be a hooker, and being picked up by either your partner or a stranger, like going through the motion, not because this is how you want to make money, but because this is what gets you off, is playing that role. Uh, Strangers in a hotel room, pretending to legitly be somebody and getting off on oh, the line. Oh, pretending to be someone else, huh? So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I mean, is anybody here so, talking of that? So, well, I mean, I guess we'll find out next week. So first there's D&D, &D, then there's LARPing, and then there's this yes, role playing? Yes, that's exactly. that this is? <laughs> Yeah. And okay. then right one step above that is this it podcast. It is this podcast. <laughs> and I, I think thought we were kind of below week, everything. Oh, I'm a <laughs> oh, no. Next week, we're going to find out we're not above we're doing not. anything. <laughs> Uh, so join us next week. Uh, follow us on social media. Please tell us what you think of urine. Uh, let us know if we're in trouble. I know for a fact Shep's Why? in trouble. You're in trouble if you don't tell us. Don't pick on Shep. Shep alone. I have to no, pick on Shep. Shep no, picks he does on me. not. I pick on Shep. I love no. Shep. Okay. Hey, I support well, the urination. Don't pick on Shep. Audience, <laughs> audience, you're in trouble if you don't tell oh, us how we no. know this episode. Uh, Stop either it. yay or no. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. I am I am one of your uh very uh, my my bladder's empty tonight. Pun so challenged. I am I am one of one refreshed host, John Dondero, and with me as always. Oh, so those depends are working out for you, are they? Because you're a nice depending, refreshed now. De I, was, I, was <laughs> I was gonna say depending or it well, it depends on who you ask. Uh, no. Say goodnight, mm -hmm. Chef. And Miss Rebecca. Good, good evening. Good night, good everyone. Good night, y'all. See you next week. <laughs> All right.